Well hello, that's a simple test setup of a 230 volts DC carbon arc lamp. Just take the 230 volts, that's what we have in Germany, AC, and feed it through a choke to limit current to 6 ampere and prevent short circuit, then a bridge rectifier to make DC from it. That's fed to two carbon rods, which act as the gap, as the where the arc can burn. Don't think I'm gonna touch 230 volts. There's a plastic rod on top of this metal construction to insulate it when I make the contact. Power on. Physical contact. Now there's again space between the electrodes and we got that arc. It's well a bit unstable because real arc lamps for street lighting in the early 20th century had a stabilization mechanism where electromagnets controlled the distance between the electrodes in depending on current flow and voltage. Power off, and you can see those electrodes get really hot. That's actually the reason why an arc lamp is not a real gas discharge lamp, but more like a gas discharge heated incandescent carbon lamp. 